Yeah, let's let's tug on that a little bit. So you're talking to your kids about fairness, and and again, the discussion of what you believe is right or wrong. Who that's not for now. Right. When you talk about fairness, can you think of any examples where your kids came home and they said, "Man, Dad, this mm. and this happened to me. That wasn't fair." Yeah. What was your advice to them in that moment? How did you guys handle that? With the circumstances. I'll give you an example. I had one of my sons was in at in Lubbock. Uh, a number of years That's ago. God's country. <laughs> you know, uh, I'm going to tell you about God's country here. He was at a party, and it was a predominantly white party. Mm-hmm. And uh, someone's, uh, <laughs> a female complained to a cop outside the party that someone hit her on the butt. Uh, the cop came in, picked my son out. Mm-hmm. All white party. Wasn't and, and then it got a little hostile, so I yeah, get a co- DJ. We're talking about D- yeah, is, DJ ain't backing down. DJ's not backing <laughs> down. It got hostile, got to be ugly. Uh, a couple of guys start. They start to scrum a little bit. Um, uh, the cop got DJ kicked him out. Told him to go home. Right, and he like so. I get a call, and this is man. These are the hardest moments as a father is when you get a call and your son is emotional and he's in a situation where he was just having a good time. He says, I wasn't even involved in the situation, but the guy came in and got me. Uh, he me picked out, me out. Right? Yep. Picked me out of the yep. crowd, That's right? not fair. Not fair. So I had to go back when he, he – and here's this father-son conversation, minority father-son conversation. Who are you with? Where were you? What were the circumstances? Mm-hmm. Let's have that discussion. And we had that discussion. And it was clear to him, like, well, maybe I shouldn't have been in this situation. Because Why, why was that clear to him? What, because what it was, clear, it was to clear to him to the fact that, like, look, if you put yourself in certain situations that you might, look, we all would think, well, we can just go anywhere and do whatever we want. I can't take you can't go to Watts, California, mm-hmm. wearing a blue shirt. Right. Right? Right. Or you can't even go to Watts, California as a white man and walk right. down that street, don't, right? Don't underestimate. Shit will happen, right? <laughs> but it's say, is that fair? No. Uh, well. That's not fair, yeah, right? It, technically, it's not fair. I, I don't have a desire to do that. But yeah, technically, but yeah, that's so not fair. So let's say yeah. you were going somewhere visiting and you just happened to get stopped right. in Watts, right? Probably not a good idea. Is that fair? Hell no, it's not fair, right? It's <laughs> both not, both it, of you guys are looking at me like, this dude would yeah, get yeah. eaten alive. <laughs> and, that's, and that's the same perception I gave to my son. Dude, understand the circumstances. Yeah, yeah. You're, you're in a, a hostile, alcohol's involved. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're way outnumbered. Yep. And the boys that you're with don't, have your, don't really have your back, yeah. right? Yeah. Understand the circumstances. It's not yeah. going to be fair. Don't put yourself in those situ- yeah. situations. You know what I love about that is, is you're not spending time harping on the wrongdoing yeah. or, the, or the unfairness. Yeah. You're yeah. focusing on what yeah. can I do? 